Some major new developments tonight in a story the whole world is watching. A race against the clock to find that missing submersible that vanished on a dive to the wreck of the Titanic. Tonight, a glimmer of hope. The U.S. Coast Guard says a Canadian aircraft detected underwater noises in the search area. The team working around the clock. Five people inside that sub. Their oxygen supply is going to run out. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Souter joining us live with the new developments tonight. Leanne. Mark, so many certainly hoping this is the sign that they've been waiting for tonight. There are reports that searchers have detected banging coming from the area where the submersible disappeared. But there has been no confirmation on what may have caused the noise. But certainly it is the hope that it is coming from the five trapped inside. The frantic search continuing around the clock to save the five on board the Titan submersible that went missing on its dive down to the bottom of the ocean. We will do everything in our power to uh, to effect a rescue. These are the last images of the group as they prepared to dive Sunday. What was supposed to be an eight to ten hour round trip journey to view the wreckage of the Titanic turning into days of search and rescue above and below the water. The U.S. Coast Guard scouring an area twice as large as the state of Connecticut. Planes dropping sonar buoys into the ocean to listen for sounds from the sub. A commercial pipeline ship now using a remote controlled camera to scour deep underwater. The missing capsule could be as far down as the Titanic itself, nearly two and a half miles. The crew's air supply expected to run out by Thursday morning. We're just running out of time. I'm sorry to say that, and I don't want to portend any imminent catastrophes. But I think we're all scared about the way this is going. On board is OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush. Over the years, he's talked about how each crew member gets involved on the dives. We teach them how to operate the sonar, how to operate the communication systems. Also among the missing businessmen, Shazada Hadaoud and his son Suleiman, renowned Titanic researcher Paul-Henri Najule, and British billionaire Hamish Harding. The crew losing contact with the ship above an hour and 45 into their journey. So... All those things we're used to now with GPS and Wi-Fi and radio links uh, do not work under the ocean. And then, you know, the, the pressure is just immense. Since its launch, the Titan has made more than a dozen trips to the wreckage site, with passengers paying up to $250,000. In a 2018 lawsuit, a former employee raised concerns about the safety of that sub at extreme depths. The pressure at 13,000 feet is 110 times that at sea level. The dispute was settled out of court. Tonight, friends and family of the missing holding out hope. Probably will be a miracle, but, you know, it's, there's still a chance. So I think we should use every resource available to, uh, to at least try. Officials say Navy experts are running further analysis on those noises heard in the search area to try to determine exactly what and where it was coming from. Now, even if the sub has popped back up at the surface, time is still of the essence as they are locked inside the vessel. It can only be opened from the outside, so their air supply remains one of the most critical issues. Leanne Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News.